Hello everyone, this is Rajiv Kohli and welcome back to our channel The Teacher. And in this tutorial, I will show you that how you can do character rigging on a stick figure using PowerPoint 2016. So have a look. Even this stick figure animation is not totally up to the mark, but still you can see the possibilities with PowerPoint. And I hope you will like this tutorial. So let's get started first. We need to see that which animations and which objects I have used in this presentation. And for that you have to open selection pan from the home tab. Click the select drop down button and choose selection pan. And as you can see here that I have used these many objects to create this stick figure and group them properly. So these are the objects that I, I have used and draw using the shape tool to create this stick figure. And secondly, let me collapse all of these groups. So you can see everything clearly. And next I will open animation pan. So you can see that which animation I have used in this presentation. And as you can see that mostly I have used spin animation. Only here you will see that I have used grocery on left and right hands. Otherwise in the entire presentation the spin animation has been used. So let's get started. And let me delete all these animation by selecting the first one. Then hold down the shift key and select the last one and then hit the delete key. So first I will animate the face and you can also open the selection pan along with the animation pan. So you can see that which object you are selecting. As you can see that I have selected the face and the same is selected here in the selection pan. So for the face I will apply the spin animation by clicking on the animations tab and then click add animation drop down button and choose spin. Set it to play with previous and do remember that all of our animation in this presentation will be played with previous and secondly i will apply a duration of 0.25 seconds without any delay open the effect options and here you don't need to apply any smoothness and i don't want to auto reverse this effect as well and i would like to rotate this face to 10 degree clockwise and in the timing tab we don't need to change anything so hit the ok button ok do remember that on a single object too many animations has been used in this presentation so you have to select a single object again and again so you can either select the object by clicking on the object itself or you can take the help of selection pen let's say if you want to select the face then you can simply click on the face layer in the selection pen Again I am going to apply the spin up effect on the face set it to play with previous with the duration of 0.25 seconds and a delay timing of 0.35 seconds. Now open the effect option by double clicking on the effect and change the rotation degree to 5 degree clockwise. Hit the ok button. Again select the face and go to add animation and again apply spin animation set it to play with previous set a duration of 0.25 seconds with the delay timing of 0.65 seconds and this time I will rotate this face to 65 degree counterclockwise hit the ok button and finally one more time we need to apply the spin animation on the face and click on add animation, spin, set it to play with previous, set a duration of 0.25 seconds with a delay timing of 1 second and this time I will rotate this face to 10 degree clockwise. Hit the ok button. Now let's see the preview. Ok. As you can see that this animation is repeating again and again. Okay. That is because in the slideshow if you click setup slideshow then you can see that I have checked loop continuously until escape. So that is why it is repeating the same animation again and again in the slideshow. 
so let me see that if everything is fine here okay yes 0.25 seconds for all of the spin duration okay next thing is we will animate the body so select the body go to add animation and again apply spin animation to the body start it with previous with a duration of 0.5 seconds open the effect option window and set the rotation to 10 degree counterclockwise without any smoothness but this time i will use auto reverse for both the body part and in the timing tab you need to set a delay timing to zero now again select the body go to add animation again apply spin animation set it to with previous open the effect option window set it to 10 degree clockwise and set it to auto reverse go to the timing tab and set a duration of 0 0.35 seconds with the delay timing of 0 0.65 seconds okay let me check this one that if i have applied counterclockwise yes i have applied counterclockwise again let's see the preview okay that's fine now we need to animate the left leg top part as you can see that it seems that it is a single object here but but these are two separate objects one is the top part of the leg and one is the bottom part of the leg and the same you can see here in the selection pan you can also see a anchor point here and this one is hidden here uh, you can hide it by applying the shape fill no fill and no outline option and you have to place them back to the right position here so let me undo all this and so on the left leg top part i will again apply the spin animation set it to play with previous with the duration of 0.25 seconds without any delay timings sorry and open the effect option window and set the rotation to 25 degree clockwise set it to auto reverse and everything is fine here hit the ok button let's see the preview okay now we move to the bottom part of the leg add animation spin set it to play with previous set a duration of 0.25 second without any delay timing open the effect option window and set the rotation degree to 25 degree counterclockwise let's see the slideshow okay i forget to auto reverse so open the effect option again and set it to auto reverse hit the ok button and here one thing i would like to tell you that in powerpoint there is no option to animate group objects separately otherwise it could be very easy to animate the legs and hands in this presentation but as you can see that i have to animate both of these parts separately because if i group them together then there will be no option to move top part of the leg to 25 degree clockwise and bottom part of the leg to 25 degree counterclockwise so that is why i have to use this technique and i have also set anchor points here so it will animate right from here the object will start moving right from that point instead if you draw a shape like this then you will see that its anchor point is right here so i have used a circle you can also see that in the selection pan that here is a layer called anchor point and if you select this layer and use shape fill and shape outline options and then you can see that circle here so you have to use this technique to animate these objects separately so let's move further and on the right leg i will use the same animation so in the animations tab click animation painter and then click on the right leg and again select the bottom part of the left leg and click animation painter and then click on the bottom part of the right leg what you only need to do is to change the rotation degree and here i will rotate this 
right leg top part to 25 degree counter clockwise with auto reverse with the duration of 0.25 second hit the ok button and for the bottom part of the leg i will use 25 degree clockwise with the same options hit the ok button let's see the slideshow okay so it is up to you that how you want to spin these objects you can totally create a different effect just by changing the rotation degree so let's move further and this time i will animate the hands and hand has been drawn in three separate layers as you can see here in the selection pan one layer is hands and one layer is left hand and right hand let me show you that by moving these hands that is the hand layers and that is the right hand and that is the left hand so undo this on the hands i will again apply the spin animation set it to play with previous open the effect option window and i will rotate the hand to 45 degree counter clockwise with auto reverse and uh, a duration of around 0.62 seconds without any delay timing hit the okay button okay now i will animate the left hand add animation spin with previous with the duration of around 0.62 seconds open the effect option window set it to auto reverse and apply a rotation of around 95 degree clockwise let's see the slideshow and that is what the problem in powerpoint that you have to use this technique and that will not be much accurate as you can see that there is a bit gap here and you have to bear this or you can draw a circle here to hide the glitch here in the hands in the movements of the hands another thing that you can do to cover the glitches in the arm is that you can try to apply grow shrink effect set it to play with previous open the effect option window and set the grow rate to 150% only vertical set it to auto reverse and apply a duration of around 0.26 seconds the same duration and hit the okay button and let's see the slide show and see if that covers something here a little bit or you can draw as i have said that you can draw a circle over the arm joint to cover that glitch so the same animations will be applied on the right hand so select the left hand click animation painter and then click on the right hand so let's see the slide show and i think that's a little bit fine here okay i need to see the face impressions here so i think there is a problem in the rotation of the face when it move to the right then it suddenly come back to the left i think there is a problem with the rotation degree so let me check 10 degree clockwise 5 degree clockwise okay that's 65 degree i think that's far more than required that will be 25 degree counter clockwise hit the okay button and let's see the slide show again so i think that's fine now and you might have noticed that only one mistake and change the animation and also if you see the leg animation then it is quite different from the actual animation that i have shown you that i have shown you in the beginning so just changing one option will change the animation like if i select the right leg top part and right leg bottom part and just add a delay timing of uh, around let's say 0.6 seconds and now see the slide show okay that's fine and here you can also note down a glitch here that the top and the bottom part are not similar in size but if i zoom in so that is another glitch in powerpoint that if you zoom into 400% and adjust the objects then you might see them perfectly settle here on the uh, on the slide but they might see different in the slide show so you have to bear this as well 
and finally we need to animate shadow and for the shadow i will apply two animations one will be motion path and that will be left motion path and we need just a little bit path size here just a bit just right here okay set it to play with previous with the duration of 0.25 second set it to auto reverse without any smoothness and you can hit the ok button and finally add animation grow shrink with previous set it the duration to 0.25 seconds open the effect option window i think 150 percent is fine set auto reverse and hit the ok button see the slideshow okay i think that's fine so what you can do you can expand the thumbnail view and add duplicate slide to increase the animation duration let's say i am adding five slides and you can also repeat the animation just on the single slide by checking this option but if you need to export this video and you need uh, to repeat this animation five times then you have to do then you have to use this technique of duplicating slides to five times and now let's see the slideshow and it will repeat for five times so if you find any another technique of animating the legs and the hands then do share this technique with me by submitting your work in the comment section and if you find this video informative and interesting then let me know by liking sharing and commenting on this video you can subscribe to my channel you can subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks for watching and have a great day